Good morning. Wow. Okay. Thank you all for being here. I am Aaron Weintraub, and it's uh, you know, a pleasure to welcome you here. It's an exciting day for me, a uh, chance to hear these guys talk about winning the mental side of the game and, and share their experiences, and, and to have each of you there, uh, an audience uh, on the DVDs as well. There's a lot of coaches uh, that are a part of this that are helping a lot of kids to improve their performance and to accelerate their personal growth. You guys are in for a great treat today. Um, last night, getting to sit with all of the presenters and um, hearing their experiences. You know, so often we hear about street smarts versus book smarts. And I will say that the presenters you have, they've got it both. They've got both You're sides. very lucky. There's a lot of people that are coaching around this area that should be here. So please take advantage, take notes. You're going to have an opportunity to probably, uh, you'll definitely have an opportunity to ask questions. Uh, you're definitely going to have an opportunity to pull some of these guys aside. Maybe not for too long, but get them while you can, because after today, they're gone. Speak. Stop this feeling deep inside of me. A chance to be a mentor for someone, just that possibility is an honor. To train someone to achieve more is exciting. The chance to coach in sports is a lot of fun, but the chance to be a teacher, that's, that's an honor. It's a privilege and it's a responsibility. It's a, a privilege and responsibility that I know everyone here takes very seriously, but it's certainly not easy. It's very difficult to do it well. John Wooden seemed to be pretty good at it. So, Coach Wooden, how do you do it? No written word, no spoken plea can teach our youth what they should be, nor all the books on all the shelves. It's what the teachers are themselves. It's what we are ourselves. Okay, so the topic here is coaching motivation. Is that motivating players or being motivated as a coach? The answer is yes. Absolutely. Okay, if we're going to coach, if we're going to get them motivated, we've got to be motivated ourselves. You know, if we want them to win the mental side of the game, we've got to win the mental side of the game. They do it, we do it when you give your best effort one step at a time. Accept whatever happens and then give your best effort again. There's all sorts of stuff that'll get in the way, keep us from doing our best. But just because it's hard, that's okay. For those to whom much is given, much is required. Who said, of those to whom much is given, much is required? JFK, right, okay. Very good, Meg. You win a keychain that says, uh, best effort, one step at a time. Little trinkets that remind us to do our best one step at a time. Much is required to those leaders to, to whom much is given. The list of what's required of y'all is so long that I'm not going to try to start it. But somewhere near the top of that list, I really think, is coaching motivation. The days of jump as high as you can because I said so, I'm not sure they ever really existed. But if they did, they're definitely over now. And if you can recruit a team full of Energizer bunnies that, that have uh, you know, energy day in, day out consistently, that's fantastic, you're making your job easier, that's great. I, I recommend trying to do that, but I don't think you'll succeed. Even when you get the occasional people who are great on the motivational side of things, occasionally they're going to have a rough day where they can use a boost from you. The reality is that if your team is big enough, you're going to get a normal distribution on, on lots of variables, including motivation. There's going to be one or two players down here that even if you do a fantastic job, they're probably going to have an attitude that's reflected by the thought, I don't want to be here, I'm just here to avoid getting in trouble. And the reality is that there's a group on the other side that even if you don't do anything and you're not a good motivator at all, they're still going to come to work. They're going to have the attitude reflected by the thought, what can I do to get better today? What can I do to help the team today? My question is, can you take that group in the middle that middle 80% and slide it over. Because if your middle 80% is better than the next team's middle 80%, if they're coming and working with discipline and, and enthusiasm and winning the, the mental side of the game, they're, they're giving their best effort during practice, they're practicing at a level that makes a difference, not just going through the motions, 
with enthusiasm, then clearly you're going to have an edge. Bum Phillips said of Coach Bear Bryant, he can take hisn and beat yoursn, or then he can take yoursn and beat hisn. To me, that's a pretty dang good compliment. Can you take the hand that you're dealt and get the most out of it? Can you motivate and inspire? Like Coach Carter. Coach Carter, in this scene, uh, he's, his toughest case went from rebel to leader when he recited this poem, Our Deepest Fear, by Marianne Williamson. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We were all meant to shine as children do. It's not just in some of us, it's in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same as we are liberated from our own fear. Our presence automatically liberates others. Sir, I just want to say thank you. You saved my life. Thank you, sir. All of you. So, motivation comes from gratitude. If we want to be motivated ourselves, it's a really good idea for us to remember to appreciate the jobs that we have, the opportunities that we have, the players that we have, imperfect though they certainly are. It's also a good idea, and I think it can certainly be done if you spend just a little bit of time on it, to teach them to appreciate us. Because gratitude motivates. It's also motivating to know that we don't have to be restrained by our fears. We all do have the fear of failure. It's a universal thing. Inside of each of us, at some level, there's the, what if I'm not good enough idea. But the truth, the truth is that we are powerful beyond measure. And so if we can teach them to tap into that power, which to me is mental True. skills training, and whether you call it that we that all struck it rich when we were born into this time and place. We have incredible capacities and opportunities for service to others. The truth is we all have strengths and weaknesses, but if we have the courage and motivation to work on those weaknesses, we're incredibly powerful. Whether other people know about it or not, the truth is, we have a chance to be successful. We have the chance to give our best effort, one step at a time, and accept whatever happens. The truth is we can strive for perfection. We can have excellence drive our culture, but we don't have to expect it. Okay? We can find that balance where we have both excellence and forgiveness at the same time. Okay, so I gave you a mental break for 30 seconds before. Now I want your very best focus for 30 seconds so we can wrap this up. Okay, so give me good body language, good eye contact, your best focus, so I can tell you the truth. The truth is that you're capable of making outstanding achievements your reality, including an ideal focus on the task at hand like this. Staying positive through adversity, because that's the key to staying enthusiastic and winning the attitude battle. And approaching your potential as a coach. These aren't easy goals, they're not gonna be achieved overnight, but what I know is that if you remember to have fun in your job, if you remember to trust your stuff because you're incredibly powerful, and if you remember to take it one step at a time because that's all anyone can ever do, you'll be well on your way. Thank you.